parallel machine model deterministic model so it's chapter 4 uh, it's actually in the book is chapter 5 so the first the first step we're going to consider uh, if we have more than one machine as parallel machines and so the first things to consider uh, having parallel machine is like a flexible flow shop flexible flow shop when it's first in first out fee uh, so you go through like the steps M1, M2, M3, M4 or it could be flexible flow shop so you have uh, stages instead of machine so ma stages of machine M1, stages of machine M2 it's like a group of machines so the basic is determine which job have to be allocated to which machine determine the sequence of the job allocated to each machine okay so the first one we're gonna consider make span without preemption make span with preemption um, this is about uh, as you said preemption is like when you we could interrupt a job and start another job without preemption not interrupted uh, PM as you said like flow shop so we could take consider unlimited number of machine uh, make span is like that when the last job would finish so uh, we're gonna find the lower bound, but I'm gonna consider just to show you how does it work. So we could find the make span, which is CMS, this one here. Um, just make it bigger. So we have here, this is CMAX, uh, largest processing time versus optimal make span. Okay, so it's always equal to the equation because we have like four machines. Uh, sorry, we have four machines, so M is equal four. So four over C, which is one point thirty four minus one divided by twelve. Okay, one divided by twelve, as you could see here. Uh, so we could uh, four over three minus one over twelve. So this value has to be. I will come back to it in a second. It always have to be less than this one. But I will show you in a second what does that mean. Uh, so we have let's consider the largest process time so we have a system jobs 1 to 9 and this is a processing time 7766554 seven, six, six, five, five, four, four. and we have four machines uh, so we're gonna the algorithm it goes like this I'm gonna jump, like, jump a little bit just to show you the algorithm so the algorithm it's it come like this select a job to begin on machine 1 at time 0 the first job choose any unscheduled job and schedule it as early as possible on the same machine repeat the step until the machine is occupied on the M well here it's like preemption but I'm gonna disregard this bit so we consider the first job on machine 1 and then we fill in the machine 1 I'll show you to you in a second before I come back to this so we we, we do the, the first job here without um, without preemption like we're not allowed to interrupt the job so we do machine 1 m1 job 1 and then job 2 machine 2 job 3 job 4 okay uh, so job 1 and job 2 it takes 7 while job 3 it is it takes 6 so this one they finished earlier like one hour earlier or one day earlier so we do 5 6 here and then the remaining 7 and 8 and then the 9 the last one and then c maximum would be in this case is equal to 15 okay uh, so this is without this is the case without preemption so make a span without preemption 